Continuing our series on the consorts of the English crown in this episode we look at the life of Eleanor of Castile. Who exactly was Eleanor and what was her background? In part two of this documentary, we delve into the early days of Eleanor's marriage to Prince Edward, who later became King Edward I of England, and how the Second Barons' War a civil war in England affected her life. Following her marriage to Edward a 12-year-old Eleanor traveled by herself to England in the summer of 1255. In medieval Europe for a 12-year-old girl to marry was considered normal. Her new husband Prince Edward would have been around 16 years old and was already part of Henry III military expedition in Gascony. Edward followed his new wife to England a few months later after his father has resolved the Gascony crisis. Eleanor's popularity as queen-in-waiting proved unpopular in England, as many quite rightly feared that many or Eleanor's relatives came to England at her father-in-law's invitation. Little is known of Eleanor's early life at the English court with her new husband. It is known that between 1260 to 1261, that her mother, Joan, Countess of Pontieu, married again to Jean de Nessel and returned to her native France. Whether Eleanor attended the wedding or was invited has never been recorded. In 1264 the Second Baron's War broke out when rebels led by Simon de Montfort tried to wrestle control of the country from Henry III. The rebels' aim was to create a parliament to rule the country. Eleanor naturally supported Edward and his family against de Montfort. Unlike her mother-in-law, Eleanor of Provence, Eleanor elected to stay behind in England rather than join the royal court in exile. She actively sought to recruit archers from her mother's home region of Ponthieu in France. A task now made easier since her mother had remarried and returned to the region. When word reached de Montfort following the Battle of Lewis that Eleanor intended to recruit troops from Castile for the royalist cause, he removed Eleanor from Windsor Castle into imprisonment at Westminster Palace in summer of 1264. Her confinement though did not last a year for her husband, Edward escaped from de Montfort's imprisonment in Hereford. After Edward's escape he led the Royalist army to victory against de Montfort at the Battle of Evesham in 1265 killing de Montfort in the process. The defeat on the barons in the Second Barons' War saw the rise of both Eleanor and her husband. With England now again a settled nation Eleanor was pregnant numerous times. Giving birth to three daughters and to two sons John in 1268 and Henry in 1269. With the belief that Edward and Eleanor had an heir and a spare in 1270 they joined the Eighth Crusade in the Holy Land. Edward's intention was to join up with his uncle Louis IX of France at Carthage which is now modern-day Tunisia. But Louis died from dysentery which had infected his army. Eleanor and her husband spent the winter in Sicily, most likely seeking security from being infected by the French army in Carthage. The couple eventually arrived in the Holy Land in 1271 and set up their encampment in Acre. Whilst staying here Eleanor gave birth to another daughter called Joan of Acre. The royal couple stayed in the Holy Land for just over a year. Even though the crusade was considered a disaster Edward's presence marked him as a target. An assassination attempt on his life was made in June 1272. Edward was stabbed in the arm by a dagger that was assumed to be coated in poison. Legend had it that Eleanor attempted to the suck the poison from his arm. But whether this story is true or not, the wound was seriously inflamed, and surgeons had to cut a lump of flesh from his arm. Leaving Acre a few months later Eleanor and Edward arrived in Sicily where they learned of the death of Edward's father Henry III. It seemed their departure had nothing to do with the death of their eldest son John as they left a year after his death. And also not with the death of Henry III as they had already departed months before his death. 
En route back to England Eleanor and Edward were forced to stop in Gascony as Eleanor was due to give birth again. Here Eleanor gave birth to another son called Alfonso after her half-brother. And again Edward and Eleanor had another spare to the new male heir Henry. After the birth the couple returned to England for their coronation 43. After the birth the couple returned to England for their coronation. Edward's and Eleanor's coronation took place at Westminster Abbey on 19 August 1274. The royal couple's marriage was considered a success in an age where many arranged royal marriages saw the monarch engaged in extramarital affairs. Edward did not have any mistresses and no illegitimate children. The couple will always be together and stayed together wherever they traveled, even on military campaigns such as the Holy Crusade in 1271. Shortly after their coronation in the autumn 1274, tragedy befell Eleanor and Edward, when Henry, their heir to the throne would pass away. Neither were present for his death and funeral and Henry was mourned by his grandmother Eleanor of Provence. Eleanor also received news in the death of her mother Joan of Ponthieu in 1279 at the age of about 59 in Abbeville in France. Her mother's death brought great trouble to Eleanor and her husband as she had died greatly in death. Both Eleanor and Edward had to act quickly to stop King Philip III of France involving himself in the affairs of the French Provence. Using initially loans from the residents of Ponthieu and English wealth Eleanor's mother's debts were resolved and stability restored to the region. Eleanor was deemed a very healthy woman for her time a testimony shown through her 16 pregnancies with Edward. Whilst on a military campaign in Wales in April 1284, she gave birth for the final time to a son, Edward, who would become Edward II, at the newly constructed English castle at Carnarvon. Edward became second in line to the throne for a short time. For later that year his elder brother Alfonso passed away elevating Edward to next in line to the crown. It seems though that Eleanor's final birth finally extracted a toll on her health. Evidence has shown after Edward's birth that they were significant payments for medicines that were prescribed to the queen. Then following a trip to Gascony in 1287 she contracted malaria. Coupled with hereditary cardiac issues which ran through her Castilian side of the family, Eleanor became consistently aware of her own mortality. She seemingly acted to arrange marriages for two her daughters Margaret and Joan and for her son Edward. Edward was planned to marry Margaret of Norway but this betrothal seemingly did not progress with Edward finally marrying Isabel of France. In 1290 Eleanor and her husband were on a tour of northern England when she became weak and fell ill. She took lodgings at a house near to the parish church in the village of Harby in Nottinghamshire. Eleanor passed away at the age of 49 on 28 November 1290 with her husband Edward beside her. Eleanor's funeral was on 17 December 1290, and she was entombed at the High Altar in Westminster Abbey near to the tomb of Edward the Confessor. Eleanor's husband remained single for another nine years, until he married Margaret of France in 1299. They had one daughter together in their marriage who was named Eleanor in her honor. Her memory was of a queen who was considered a great businesswoman for the acquirement of land in the kingdom for the debt owned to her.